India is a land of extremes, scorching heat to biting cold, barren deserts to snow-capped peaks and everything in between. This unforgiving weather is the ultimate test for any vehicle, particularly when it's an EV. We are back pushing the limits taking on another extreme challenge against an EV's two biggest enemies, massive temperature change and steep mountain climbs. We are setting off from Jaisalmer in Rajasthan and we are going to head out to the sand dunes in search of the hottest temperature in the country. And then setting course for the chilling heights of the Himalayas, driving through the Dras Valley and all the way through Leh to Khardungla, where we will try to record the coldest temperature we possibly can. We are at the start of our journey and I am outside Jaisalmer deep in the sand dunes where the temperature is hovering slightly over 47 degrees. I have the witnesses over here who are keeping a close eye on the temperature logging device and we are hoping to record the hottest temperature possible here today. From here, we head north to the Himalayas in hopes to capture the lowest possible temperature on this journey. But first, let's log the highest temperature and get this journey started. This is Rajasthan in May. We recorded 47.5 degrees Celsius as the highest temperature for the day. But thankfully, in the Mercedes-Benz EQS 450 SUV, it is quite comfortable. I've set the 4-zone aircon at a brisk 22 degrees Celsius and I've got the seat ventilation going as well. Now, of course, it's going to affect the range marginally, but in this extreme heat, it is a necessity. Good morning guys, we all said the EQS is fully charged. Today we are headed to Jodhpur from Jaisalmer. It's about 300 kilometers odd. So let's get the show on the road. Temperature and weather patterns in India and across the world are getting more extreme due to climate change. And to do our bit to combat that, we are undertaking this drive in a pure electric car. The Mercedes-Benz EQS 450 SUV. Now this has a massive battery, huge range and it's supremely comfortable. But still, this is not going to be easy. Out here in Rajasthan, the AC is running overtime to keep me cool and as we climb up the Himalayas, the battery will deplete faster and the cold temperatures will affect the range.
but if we make it, we're gonna set a new Guinness World Records title for the greatest temperature change by an electric production car in a single journey. Driving from Jodhpur to Jaipur was pretty straightforward thanks to the smooth Rajasthan highways taking us from Kishangarh to Jaipur. If you cast your mind back to the previous Guinness World Records title that we achieved with Mercedes, you'll remember that this car's close cousin, the EQS sedan, achieved a mammoth 949 kilometers on a single charge. This EQS SUV similarly has an impressive claim range of 821 kilometers thanks to a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. But that's not our objective. We really want to see how this EV copes with the two extremes of heat and cold. Something that I really like about long road trips is a fast, reliable charger and thankfully in Rajasthan, we've got phenomenal charging infrastructure and we haven't wasted too much time charging the EQS SUV. Today, we leave Jaipur and head towards Zirakpur. It's close to 450 kilometers. There's a lot of road closures on the map that we see, a lot of diversions. Let's see how the EQS SUV holds up today. We're on this Trans Haryana Narnal Ambala Expressway, which is the NH152D. This expressway completely bypasses New Delhi and helps us avoid all the traffic in the capital city. This highway though, can get really monotonous as it's got very light traffic and it's absolutely arrow straight. But there's nothing to worry about because I've got the adaptive cruise control going. There is also additional safety net of ADAS. And this also happens to be the longest distance that we'll be driving on this journey so far, at about 450 kilometers. While there are many chargers along the way, we won't be needing to charge the car at all as we'll easily arrive on the outskirts of Chandigarh with about 150 kilometers of range in reserve. We started off from Zirakpur with the rain providing some respite from the heat 
but Punjab was just as hot as Rajasthan and we needed a quick pit stop at Jalandhar to cool off. Thankfully, we would now begin the gradual climb up towards Jammu. This morning, we departed Jammu and began climbing towards Srinagar. The temperature is a much more bearable 18 degrees and the road is getting properly twisty as we climb. Here's the thing with EVs and mountains. Of course, climbing up mountains demands a lot more power from the battery, but the EQS SUV has regen braking on its side, which helps it recuperate some amount of power back into the battery. Slightly delayed departure from Srinagar to head towards Kargil today as we got the news of heavy snowfall and avalanches near the Jozila Pass. But the recent update says that the roads should open up by the time we arrive there. Let's go. Climbing up towards Josila, the temperature drops sharply, the roads turn rough and the tarmac gives way to gravel, slush and broken edges. But through it all, the EQS SUV didn't miss a beat. Even in these demanding conditions, the car maintains stability and confidence, climbing with quiet efficiency, gliding through one of the toughest mountain passes in the country effortlessly. So yesterday was a tough and long drive passing the Josila Pass and we arrived Kargil really late in the night with an impressive 53% SOC left in the EQS SUV. 
But once we arrived at the Kargil, we discovered that the charger is not functioning. But thankfully, we have our own portable cable and we charge the car overnight and we now have 88%, which is more than enough to get us to lay. We're ready for the final push from Leh to the Khardungla Pass. The weather has been really erratic. So here's hoping we find clear roads and the lowest temperature that we are aiming to record. Let's go. We were on our way up to the Khardungla Pass but you know how the mountains are. The weather is always unpredictable and this is the closest we can get thanks to the avalanche that has taken place and this is where we'll record the lowest temperature for our journey. From deserts to mountains through blistering heat and biting cold, the roads and the weather tested us. In 9 days, the EQS SUV and I have lived every season and at the end, we made history. 51.2 degrees Celsius of temperature change, a new Guinness World Records title and one unforgettable drive. 